Modifying our SQL query to always be true in order to dump results may prove to be fruitful, but oftentimes we're hindered by filters in the SQL statement that only display certain columns in the table we're accessing. We can see this if we view the source code of the SQL injection page. We can see that the SQL query is only going to give us the first and last name of our users, but our table may have some other information that we want to see. So we can attempt to see other columns in the table by using union injection. The union clause in SQL allows us to do multiple select statements at once. So to perform union injection, we first need to know how many columns are being displayed to us. If we were going in blind, we could test this by doing a single quote, union select one, dash dash space dash, and then incrementing the number of columns by one until we don't get an error. So here would be the query if we were only displaying one column, and we see that we get an error. To see if we're displaying two columns, we'll add on comma two to our previous query, and we see that that query was successful. We also see that one got injected into the first name column, and two got injected into the surname column. Now that we know that we have two columns that we can inject into, we can start enumerating the database. To determine what databases exist on the web server, we can issue the command single quote union select one, comma schema name from information underscore schema dot schemata, and then dash dash space dash to comment out the rest of the query. After running this command, we see all of the databases that are available in the surname column. And for this exercise, we're interested in the DVWA database. Now that we know what database we're working with, we can display the tables in that database by typing the command single quote union select table name comma table schema from information underscore schema dot tables for table schema equals DVWA and then dash dash space dash to comment out the rest. And then after hitting submit, we see that this query shows us there are two tables called guestbook and users, and we're going to be enumerating the users table for more information. Now to get all of the columns that exist in our users table on the DVWA database, we can type single quote union select column name comma table name from information schema dot columns where table name equals users, and then comment out the rest. Looking at the results of this query, we see that the columns user ID, first name, last name, user, password, and avatar exist for this table. So if we wanted to display the data of the user and password columns of the table, we could issue the command single quote union select user comma password from dvwa.users and then dash dash space dash to comment out the rest. Now after submitting this command, we see that we've dumped all the usernames and hashed passwords for those users.